Okay, next part of right, basic form. So, on to the next page. We did rectangular prisms already on the first page. Now we're going to go to the back side of that. Our next basic form is a cylinder. A cylinder is a can, a trash can, a soda can, a bottle, a vase, a mug, a cup. Those are all, all cylinders. So, the steps to a cylinder. First step is to draw an oval. So, when you go to do your oval, I like to do nice short strokes so I get it a little more rounded. Try to draw lightly. I'm drawing heavier so you can see it on the camera. So that's your first step. Step number two is two vertical lines equal length. So I have my oval, and now vertical line over here has to come off of this very far end, and go down there, and this one needs to come off of this very far end, and be about the same length. Got to make sure they stop at about the same length. Step three is to draw a half of an oval, a half oval. So I go back to my oval first, do my two vertical lines. Now I'm going to add a half an oval at the bottom. This half oval needs to curve the same direction as this bottom half of this oval. So it curves down like this, and then back up, connects to those two lines, two vertical lines. Now, if you're not sure on that, you can always draw your oval, your complete oval, as long as you draw lightly, and then you can erase that back side. So it looks like a, otherwise it looks like a see-through cylinder, which would be like a glass base or glass cup. But in our case right now, I don't want that. I just want it to be a solid. And then step number four is to shade. So we're going to draw our oval again. Vertical line. Vertical line. bottom half of our oval, so it curves down so the cylinder isn't flat on the bottom. It has a little curve to that side, so that's where you make it curved. I didn't get that quite curved enough, so I'm going to do that over a little bit again. Notice I'm not erasing. Then my light is coming from the above right. I'm doing that consistently with the rectangular, as with the rectangular prisms, just so you get the idea. Again, if you want to flip it around, then you can't. So this top is going to be very light, very lightly shaded in. If you want to smear it, you can smear it. Uh, you can take your eraser if you get too dark and lighten it in areas. Try to keep it one even value. And then that light value goes over here on this side. This is going to be a light. The next section is going to be a light. And then I go back to my light, and I'm going to color in all the way across with this light. All the way across right now. So 
So all I'm doing is leaving that white space right there. Everything else is white. My next section is a medium. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add another layer to make it medium. Notice I'm kind of curving it to follow along with the curve of the side of those ovals that I drew. So now I have a medium. And then I have a dark, and now the dark does not go all the way to the end because I have a medium back over here. So the dark is just going to go kind of in the middle here. Because the medium on the end is because we get what's called reflective light. So the light bounces off of the edge and comes back up into there. So I go light, white, light, medium, dark, medium. That way it has a curve to it. It doesn't look smooth, flat. It curves. Now I'm going to make my shadow. So my shadow is going to come off of here. And it's going to come off of the corner back here a little bit. And it's going to have a little curve to it up here because it's hitting this curve right here. And remember, your shadow is your darkest thing. So color that in your darkest. So there is your cylinder. Again, you can do... Um, the light coming from the other direction, just flip everything around. Or you can lay it on its side like this and just make sure your shadow would go down here then instead. And the light coming from this way, if you have this end over here showing and the light's coming from the above right, then this is going to be darkest. If you have it flipped around this way, and your light coming this way, then this will be lightest. Okay. So there is your cylinder, different ways to draw it, basic one cylinder.